What's going on guys, Derek in here back with another Roller Breakers Season 3 video and in today's video we are running the ultimate anti-melee build. So pretty much uh, what I have rocking for this build is Solar Flare, After Image, Charming Pose, and Angry Shout. So in a previous video we confirmed that uh, Charming Pose and Angry Shout is a true combo. You guys did not know, I don't know if I ever showcased this, but After Image and Solar Flare is also a combo as well. So if we get caught in a combo, we could either pop After Image or we could pop Charming Pose and then either use Angry Shout or Solar Flare depending on the acting skill that we use. And then we can land one of our super attacks. I have Perfect Combat Mayhop for Cell. I have Vanishing Ball for Boo. Uh, I could put on Special Beam for the extra cheese, but I feel I feel dirty using Special Beam Can. I'm not going to lie. So the difficulty of this build is pretty much just going to be the fact that we have no evasive options. So we have to commit to fights and it's going to be very difficult to get out of them. So I have a couple homies grouped up with me. We're going to go ahead, see how we do with this build, the anti-Raider melee build, and see how we do. Alrighty, for our first matchup here, we're going up against Gumbo, level 57, getting you heading to Snowy Mountain. So this is part of our levels. We have a 170, level 200 myself, a 150, a 140, a 116, a 128, and a 104. So uh, I am live streaming the showcase on Twitch.tv slash the Iron Cannon, and one of my chatters informed me that I think I misspoke. Uh, the combos are um, Angry Shout into Charming Pose and After Image into Solar Flare. Unless I said that uh, incorrectly before, those are the combos. So if I did Angry Shout and the Solar Flare, it might not work, right? Those aren't true combos. It could work, but it's not a true combo. It's not as uh, reliable as like Angry Shout into uh, Charming. So basically, the point of this build is to get up close and personal to the Raider. And, uh, you know, when they go for a melee basically pop my uh, evasive and then use a stun and then land a super okay all right dude we found a key within 20 seconds kind of feel a little bad for this raider here <laughs> it's tough man like i i used to be like really really i don't know complaining i used to complain a lot about like uh key rushing dragon ball rushing all that stuff but like it's gotten to the point where it happens so frequently uh, that it's just it's just become what the game is, unfortunately. Whether you like it or not, it's just what the game is, sadly. But this Raider actually is keeping up with us. They are, uh, they just grabbed uh, another Civ. Now they're only one away from their level two. So I'm going to see if I can get to them and uh, deal some damage. But I'm not too sure where they are. But I, let me just save this Civ while I'm here. Oh, they're not here? Thought I heard somebody. Alright. Alright, so we should fight. Oh, damn, he's on the complete other side of the map. I don't have to sprint my butt over to him. Uh, I think there's someone up there. Civ was. Alright, maybe I won't be jumping Godo this match just because um, he's pretty far away, man. Might not have the opportunity to unless he comes over here. Alright. Save this guy. My dragon change up. So for my level 1 and level 2, I have um, Kid Buu with Vanishing Ball. And then for my level 3, I have Perfect Kamameha with Cell. Where is Golda? Okay, he's, yeah, he's still pretty far away. Alright. I would like to fight him, man. He's going to auto-evolve soon. The thing is, like... Alter, thank you for the follow, man. I, I gotta, like, really commit to these fights. Yeah, he auto-evolved. Damn. Or maybe you gotta save. Alright. So we'll, we'll try to do the combo on uh, on Raccoon. So what's what's interesting about this build is that like typically if you um, like attack uh, melee, go for melee on a raider, right? They'll use their uh, knockback. But because I have two evasives, I have two opportunities. Hey, bro, we might let's let's go for it. Do we go for it? I mean, we kind of got to try. Right, he's, he's he's found us with the scouter. Okay, let's go for it. What's good, Raccoon? Fight me, bruh. Fight me. I'm a level one. Fight me. Oh, bro, it didn't work. All right. <laughs> that didn't work, dude. I mean, I did hit him with the pose. I didn't really need to use Angry Shout there, but we that did not work. Solar Flare. I don't know why Solar Flare didn't go off there. It happened so fast, I even realized why didn't it go off. But at least, uh, oh my god, he's cooking, dude. 
God damn, is he cooking? Okay. I mean, one thing that's good about this build is that you get your active skills back, like, pretty much instantaneously, especially with Exploration Enthusiast, but, uh, that was not very successful. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we have a little more success on the next, oh, oh, he found us. We're, we're screwed, actually. Oh, he's destroying the area? Okay. He spared us. All right, let me just use this to get some distance. All right. Kind of was cutting that a little close, but I just used that to move faster. Just wanted to get away from the raider. Yeah, honestly, anybody else with a ball besides me would be good. Alright, this is 99. Okay. Um, C and D. Yeah, that's not good. Motion is looking like they're uh, going to be kicking the bucket here, sadly. Left the beam behind? Yeah, I did leave that beam behind. I, I could have taken it, but I, I feel like it was getting kind of close there. I wish I had a soda. Alright. So we're gonna need to plant C and D as fast as possible. Whatever one we could do first, or we could just do both, that'd be great. Um, I'm gonna see if I can... Damn. Maybe I can buy some change power in the ship. I mean, at least we have sprint on this build. But, like, that that's pretty much it. Besides sprint, we don't really have too much... Actually, let me just save this, Sid. So it's in the cave below us. Okay. Alright, someone's putting the herd on Raccoon. Yeah, the thing about this build, dude, it's a huge commitment. Like, you have no evasive options. You have no uh, maneuverability, active skills. It's purely for uh, fighting. And the fact that I didn't really get to use it that well in that first go-around is a little disappointing. Damn. Alright. Because, like, right now I can't even IT to anybody. Ooh, that's not good, dude. That's not good. Alright. Damn, he got his level 3. I mean, Raccoon Living definitely sucks, but... Jason Border Living, in my opinion, is the, the, the worst, like, outcome. Alright. Oh, did he see me? Okay, he's going for air destruction. He's destroying A. Alright, we should just plant in A. I gotta go for the keys here. Is that Goldo, dude? Oh my god. Leave me alone, Goldo! Leave me alone! Alright. Yo, we gotta plant this key, buddy. Well. I think he saw where I was planting. Uh... Damn, people are just dying, dude. This is gonna be tough. We have four Dragon Balls. I imagine the Raider has at least one. Dude, we've got. Is this gonna be ETM? Tough. Tough. Alright, I mean, I'll, I'll go. I'll try for the plant. I'll try for the plant. I mean. Typically, from the Raider's uh, point of view, he kind of actually wants us to plant. Because if we don't plant, then ETM is in play. Where the hell are you hiding? But what's bad here is that we lost our one level three. Okay. Oh, I can't even buy that soda, dude. So this build is actually going to be kind of good in this situation because I can't melee the Raider. So, if they melee me or get in close contact with me, I can at least land a stun. Alright, you can keep the soda, bro. Alright, if we can get the ball from him, man. Maybe I should put the soul skill on this. But right, that's kind of risky. Alright, I'm going to land Charming Pose. Hit one of those, okay. I was using that, that's tough. Alright, I'm gonna see. Oh, that worked! That actually worked! Okay. Yo! Bro, come to me, man! 
You gotta work with me here. Take the ball, dude! Oh my god. What is happening right now, bro? I mean, I feel like the build kind of helped, actually. We landed a solar flare raw like that. All right, I'm gonna have to play STM. We got supplies. Dude, we... Yo? Already got... All right, well... There it is. The dream is dead. All right. <laughs> we had a moment of hope, dude. We had a moment of hope. But unfortunately, I think the dream is dead. All right. He might just summon himself, the raider. We'll see. All right. Let's go for a melee here. Okay. Oh, we got him somehow. All right. Oh, okay. Well, that's not good. I'm gonna try to take some cover. This after him is to dodge it, maybe. I I thought I had gloves on still. That was a waste of a soda. Okay. All right. Are there any sodas left? There is one left. That's gloves. Why, why do I hear a double O come on? Alright. Oh, uh, I almost got my dragon change back. Damn. Okay. Oh! Okay! Okay! Kinda cooking. Kinda cooking. Kinda cooking, though. Alright, well... Okay. Well, there it is. <laughs> okay. Keeping him off. Nah, he didn't take the bait that time. He wisened up. I mean, we were stalling for a long time. Alright, we got a Senzu now. I mean... Alright, he got me, damn <laughs> He got tired of my BS, bro. I mean, we did get cooked, but I feel like we were kind of like moving, dude. We were kind of moving and grooving. We were kind of moving and grooving there. That, I, I'm not too upset by that, honestly. All right. Well, that's GG's. I mean, let's see if mid Toddler can clutch it out. But I, I'm honestly not too upset with that performance. Of course, I could have played better for sure. But I felt like there, there, I was kind of clutching. I stalled for a very long time there. If Mid Solid was, oh, okay. Well, he's gonna knock him back repeatedly. If, if, if there's like one more person up, he'd be able to win. Yeah. All right, GG's. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and um, queue up for like another game or two here. But that, that was pretty fun, honestly. That was pretty fun. We were, we were juking the crap out of the Raider there for a second. That was pretty fun. I, I also need to get used to the active skills a little bit as well, just because I'm not used to having certain stuns and certain moves on certain, like, parts of the D-pad. Typically, I always have a stun on, like, the left D-pad and stuff like that, so a little bit adjustment on my end as well. But um, I thought we were kind of moving, dude. We were kind of grooving and moving a little bit. But uh, GG's to this Raider here. We're going to go ahead and queue up for um, another match or two and see if we could uh, have a little better uh, performance here. Okay, we're in for a biggie here. We got a level 1 hundo cell heading to the OG map, Highland River. In terms of our starter levels, uh, they're exactly the same because we're running with the same uh, group of homies. Uh, what I've realized about this build is that I feel like it flourishes in uh, the defense phase. Just because you don't really need to escape, technically, where um, if you get caught like early on and you're getting chased... Like, what are you going to do? What are you, you going to do with this build, right? Like, you can stall. I think it's the beauty of this build that it's really good for stalling just because the active skills have such short cooldowns. But if you're getting heavily chased, you're not really going to have too many options to escape. Um, these are evasive passives, but they're not good maneuver passives, right? Like, there's no grapple. There's no floating device on this build. There's no IT, right? There's no bike, I mean, or like Nimbus. Like, these, these uh, active skills really, you know, keep you pretty uh, stationary, right? Uh, so we would need to get our dragon change as fast as possible for that reason. Wow. That was a very, very fast evolution on Cell there. 
I think that was 30 seconds. Wow. I mean, with the way Cell um, has been recently, like, I think if you get a level 4 and Cell's like level 2, even level 3, it's typically GG's. So, like, Cell getting a fast level up like that, I think it is uh, what he needs, honestly. Oh. Holy hell. Well, <laughs> we're probably cooked here. Okay. Just land a pose as well. Double stun. We're probably going to get cooked here, but I can stall at least. Safety follows. W escape? Okay. I didn't use um, after image or angry shout just because I didn't really need to. That's why I, I um, chose to go with the the pose first because you can chain stuns by the way if you do not know that uh i mean in the future i could run a full chain stun build we could do go go gum shoe flare and pose if you guys want to see that one day it's gonna be a crappy build <laughs> but we could do it for the memes That's a new power key. all right i can't I, I guess i feel like the cell gave up dude like i he probably just assumed i had it or something and just like, screw it, he's gone. Because if he just would have committed to the chase there, he absolutely would have cooked me. I'm going to wait to see if I can get my dragon change back uh, organically before, uh, or naturally. Just kind of saying words. Uh, before I pop the soda, just because I need to have a dragon change at all times with this build. Okay. Get some golds. We're not doing too, too bad in terms of, like, the pacing. Actually, we're doing very good now. Oh, hey, hooking me up. Thanks. Take uh, the Senzu, buddy. Someone should, anyway. A floating device. Give me that, dude. These floating devices are, like, crack, bro. <laughs> I don't have a floating device of my own, but, like, when I see it, I'm definitely going to use it. All right, so let's get over to D, find the key over there. I mean, I think the thing about this build that's, like, the most fun is that you have your skills basically available all the time. I might need to pop. Alright, I'm about to pop this. Damn, okay, I think he knows my build, maybe. Yeah, he's just playing back. Yeah, he's just peppering me with Key Blast. What? Why didn't um? Uh... Oh, it did work. Okay, it worked, but I'm dead here. All right. That was weird. His super attack went off, but um, Pose went. Like his super attack went off, but Pose went off afterwards, and he got stunned afterwards. I don't know. I mean, I was gonna die there regardless. But I think uh, this raider has wise into my build. That's why you saw them playing back. I did waste that soda though, which kind of sucked. Uh, what my plan was was to cancel my change. And then take advantage of the fact that uh, I could use that soda. Hopefully, it doesn't come right back to me, dude. Super soda. I'm not gonna waste. What the hell? I was not Goku moving like that. All right, I don't want to waste the super soda like I did uh, the other one. I think Buddy's lagging a little bit. Thank you, bro. All right, we gotta find the key in D. Look at those simps. Listen, man, they're just helpful allies, okay? Let them rock. All right. Oh, floating device. Please. Thank you. So in the past, you guys probably saw me jumping on the floating device. But if you jump into it like you do while you're transformed, it actually gives you the boost without needing to jump on it. So you still get the same level of height without needing to, like, stop your movement. All right, I'm going to drink this so I get my dragon change. Now we're cooking. Oh, did he find us again? Damn, bro! Okay. Oh! I did not mean to use Angry Shout. That's my bad. I did not mean to use Angry Shout there. That's my bad. It was a misclick! Misinput! Misinput! <laughs> Alright. That's my bad. Again, that's me not being used of where I have the active skills on the D-pad. 
But yeah, that was a misinput. Misinput! Again, the cell could have cooked me if he followed me, but I'm not going to complain. Ah, uh, we, dude, we need to find this key in D, like, ASAP. Damn, he's going to get his level 3. That's not good. Oh, we have all the balls. Do we? Yeah, I can count. That's all the balls right there. That was actually pretty smart of uh, whoever summoned. They were guaranteed to get the summon off because they chose to summon when the evolution started. Alright, so basically the job of this level 4 is to stall for us to find the key and get the SDM cooking. We could try to kill Cell, but I think it's in our best interest to uh, go for the STM startup. Where is the crate that we don't have, though? I'm so curious. Okay, we found the key. Nice. Nice soda, thank you. Alright. We should res not Goku, though. It's kind of a shame if we just let him die for no reason. Oh, the key's over here. That's good. This is a pretty safe spot to plant. I don't know if A has been worked on. I think it is. Someone looks like they marked it. Damn, I think no one's resing not Goku. That sucks. Ah, oh, damn, he got Maxi. Maybe, maybe he was camping not Goku. I don't know. That's tough. All right, we got to be careful here because if he gets another player down and uh, absorbs them, he is going to get his level four. So we got to be careful. All right. Um, all right, we got the STM up. So this is where this build is going to do pretty well. I'm just going to immediately start playing STM. Someone should raise uh, Res Maxi, though. I'm just going to immediately play STM. I don't think we should waste any time here. Okay. Like, level 3 cell is definitely very, like, killable. But I do feel like this build will do it its best if we force him uh, into STM. I want to waste my dragon change until, like, the last moment. Alright, the boys are doing pretty good damage. Alright, is he moving to the STM yet? He's going to have to eventually. Oh, man. All right. Ooh, good stun by Amir. Good stun. Yeah, I feel like we want to get the STM cooking because we haven't have we haven't gotten supplies yet. Like, we'll commit to a fight once we get supplies. But at this point, we want to get the STM rocking and rolling. Yeah, see how now he's being forced to play it. Damn, I missed my pose. Oh, damn, I missed that as well. He wasn't facing me. That's my bad. I messed that up. Used that for iframes. Didn't really get many. I goofed there. I goofed that really bad. Yeah, because uh, Cell was not facing me, that's why um, Solar Flare didn't work. Thank you. Alright. So what Cell should be trying to do here is stopping us from getting the supplies. Because we get him, it's... It's going to be very difficult for him. Alright, let me try to grab this. There should be two sodas in here. There is. Damn it. Oh my god. Oh my god, the iframes. Just barely. Okay. Charming pose. Solar flare. Okay. We're cooking. Do we do a little bit of cooking. Alright, I'm just going to play SDM here. Oh. Can we land this? I oh, can't, damn. Okay. No! Oh, I could have popped. Could have popped Angry Shout, dude. I trolled. I could have popped Angry Shout. I could have popped Angry Shout. I didn't click it in time, dude. If your reaction times are fast enough, I could have popped Angry Shout. So, we're in a pretty good spot here. Either, either Cell is going to get killed or the SDM gets activated. Because the level 4 is still up, we still have a shot here. 
All right, Mitsali just needs to play. I'm probably going to be dead here. That's all right. Um, I think we got this game. We got this game. Oh, damn, he missed his stun. All right, level four is going to come in now. All right, we should have this. This is why I said to play STM earlier, because something like this could have happened. We got it, GG's. That was a crazy, crazy close match. Crazy, cr crazy, crazy close match. Um, I might do one more. I'm a little tight that I didn't get that angry shout off because I probably still would have got downed because my barrier was down, but I would have been able to be up a little more and then uh, play STM a little better. But uh, again, I think this build, despite it not being the greatest, I think it does work, which is, is nice to see. So we'll, we'll do one more match and see how we do. Alrighty, for our final match here, we're going up against a Majin Buu. We're heading to Waterfront Warzone, level 38 Majin Buu, and our levels are exactly the same. Running with the same group of homies, but uh, again, I, this build is low-key impressed me, man. I, I actually have been enjoying this build. Now, if I was doing solo queue, I'd be having a terrible time. I, I will admit that first and foremost. I would not recommend using this build, uh, not playing with friends, not being in a pre-made, but uh, in solo queue, I imagine it'd be hell. Uh, I think this build works best in the defense phase on the super time machine just because you can play around the super time machine like use that as cover you can uh use angry shout to knock the raider off the super time machine you can stall a lot because of uh charming pose and solar flare it's just a, a lot of options for you uh when defending the stm but in terms of escaping the raider this build is terrible absolutely terrible but i i do I do enjoy the, the aspect of defending the STM. I do really enjoy that. <clears throat> yeah, I lost my voice. <laughs> Alright, we got our level 1. We could, we could pull up on Spopey. We could. But, um... I just play objective here. Got two keys within a minute. If I was Spopey, I'd be pretty pissed. Not gonna lie. I'd be pretty pissed. Got a thousand gold. Rocket... Big cube. I'll take the rocket for now. Screw it. Oh, we got a key radar. I even peep that. Alright, I'm gonna move over to E. That's wild, bro. Yep, here's the key. Spore Spopey, man. Alright, he pulls up on us. We got our build. Oh, we got a sieve, damn. Alright, I don't think he sees us. Key rush? I mean, unfortunately, I just got a radar very early. Very, very early. I think he missed the sieve. I mean, might be up there. Okay. Is this soda? I will take that. Thank you. Let's see if we get some more cubes. Uh, we'll be nice if we get our level 2. We'll be like one off. We get a power charger machine. You know Alright. Yeah, Spovich is it. I mean, he's, Spovich is gonna get his evolution, which is nice, but he's in a pretty bad spot here. You know the outcome of this one? Yeah, this is this one's kind of rough. He's just ignoring me, which is smart, honestly. Thanks. All right. Oh, man. All right. If these guys want to try to stop him from getting uh, the summon of Boo, like I'm dead. Okay, no one did. No problem. No problem. How was he's key at? Oh Stay my calm. god, this is the guy got Stay rushed calm. so bad. He's oh, doing man. air destruction. He should not destroy an area with a key. He's destroying C. Makes sense. Yeah, it, it would be a huge... I mean... I don't know. Like, what would you guys do in this situation? Like, I feel like destroying an area where keys have been found is kind of troll. Because, obviously, the next one is just going to be planted right afterwards. Oh, we haven't started on this one. It's not good, actually. Okay. You don't have all the Dragon Ball, so there is still hope for this boo. Alright. I just want to throw some hands. Let's go in. Let's go in, bro. Give the key a little more juice. Let me go in. All right, he's flying to the air, which is smart. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, we got him with the solar flare. Nice. Let's see if we can catch him. Oh, smack them down. Okay. So we're out of our change for now. We're gonna have to be a little passive here. That was pretty cool. We used Atherms to dodge the angry explosion, and then we popped uh, Solar Flare afterwards. So I drank those two sodas. Uh, mid transformation. I'm gonna get my Dragon Change back in a sec here. All right. Did Boo just give up? Oh no. Okay. okay. Oh damn, he got me there. All right, I was hoping that pose would go off, but he wasn't facing me. That's why I didn't. Okay. Yeah, he does not care about me. Oh, because he knows that guy has the balls. That's why. He does not care about me at all, bro. I'm just beating him up. Got him. This poor boo, dude. I feel bad. I feel... Oh. Let's see if I can pop Angry Shot in time. I'm mashing this... Mashing the D-pad. It might not work. Yeah, it didn't work. Oh, no, it did work. I didn't take any damage. I landed Solar Flare. Give him a punch. <laughs> Wait, boo, I'm kidding, bro. I didn't mean it. This poor guy, dude. This poor guy. All right, we can land a Charming Pose. Ooh. Oh my god. Special beam cannon? That's so mean. Alright, if I get my barrier back, I'll go in. Let's see if I can land a, a stun on him. Could just pop one of these. Alright. I don't know if I can get to him unless someone has like floating device. Okay. Floating device. See if I can get to him. Use this to get some air. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that's the video, guys. Um, this build, honestly, with a pre-made, is not that bad. With a pre-made, it is not that bad. If you use this in solo queue, I imagine it would not be as successful. But um, if you have really quick reaction times, you could be popping Angry Shout to get iframes, After Image to get iframes, and then land stuns right afterwards. I think this build uh, shines the most defending the STM, just because you could use the STM as cover, and you could play around that and use Angry Shout to get the, uh, the Raider off of the STM no matter where he is. The build is fun. The build is fun. And if you're, uh, you have really good reaction times, you could be using uh, the stun combos pretty consistently. But that's the video, boys. Let me know in the comments below if you would see yourself rocking this build. Uh, what super attacks you would use if you got the stuns off. I'll like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Iron King for more showcases like these. Funny moments, highlights, rage comps, uh, analyzations, analyze videos. I, I can't say the word. I'm just, I'm brain farting. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, stay safe. Peace out.